Hello Cancer, this is your mid-October 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Cancer individuals, so keep that in mind. I may pick up the energies from the last reading and the story may continue, or I may pick up a totally different energy. It'll be different. Sometimes that happens. But this is for Cancer starting mid-October 2018. Cancer starting mid-October for the masses of Cancer. 2018, mid-October, Cancer. I do meditate on these, these cards before the reading for your sign. Because I try to get the energy as much as possible. But the beginning energy coming in. Six of Swords in reverse, not able to carry on or travel on or leave troubled waters. You're stuck. You're still staying where you're at. You may be contemplating moving, moving in the past or coming up towards you, but you may not be able to yet for some of you. But mostly it's a stuck type energy in the beginning, beginning of mid-October, feeling stuck. In the past... You'll be getting some offers, and some of them you may not like, but you'll be getting some offers, or I should say you are get, you were getting offers. That's the Four of Cups. It's in the upright, so it's not like you're not getting any, but it's just they're not exactly the best ones. It's not the ones that you definitely want in the past. But the Four of Cups, why are you there in the past for Cancer? Use these as my clarifying cards, as you know. These are always my go-to cards because they're so accurate. Queen of Cups, that's you. Your energy could be another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but I'm going to call this your your energy, Queen of Cups. You're just wanting what you want. The Queen of Cups in the upright knows what she wants. She knows what makes her emotionally sound and stable and happy. Why is this there? The Four of Cups with the Queen of Cups in the past. That offer is just not always what you wanted. Yeah, it's not always what you wanted. You didn't feel like they, they would bring you a victory, um, success. These offers are like just so blah in the past. Now the obstacle, I know that the past is not the obstacle. You do have an obstacle. What is getting in your way for this? Because you're not having your say. Cancer, you're, it's like... I can't say that you didn't say anything. Because some of you may have. Let me let's face it, we're dealing with a lot of cancers. But it's like if you were having your say and you were trying to get on top of things and maybe even a little defensive, that it may not have worked well with you. It, it's something that it may have worked against you. Let me put it that way. Seven of Wands in reverse. Why are you there for cancer? It could be also that some of you, some of some of you are feeling uh, defensiveness of another person coming towards you. Maybe they're getting defensive. But Seven of Wands, why are you there in the, in, in the obstacle for Cancer? Oops. Could have to do with a fire-type element or a message that came across. Could be someone taking on a fire energy or actual fire sign. Could be Aries Leo Sagittarius. Can I get another card for that? Six of Swords. The obstacle is move, is moving on. You're having trouble moving on. And someone's getting a little defensive, a little irritable. In the past, you got some offers, but you didn't like them. But let's go with the current environment or the very near future. Got the Two of Cups. It's a love type situation, a partnership. More than one person. It's in reverse. Two of Cups. Why are you in reverse for Cancer? Maybe you're not feeling the love. Regaining balance in your love situation. It didn't work out. Regaining your equilibrium because love never seemed to work out. And you're probably trying to keep things balanced now in a love situation, and maybe you're just hanging around waiting for somebody. 
or someone's waiting around on you. You could be waiting around for someone to finally come to their senses. That was a love partnership. Or like I said, they could be waiting for you. That's what the near future is going to be. You waiting. What is coming towards you, Cancer? Someone may offer you a passionate new beginning. Ace of Wands. Why are you there for Cancer as a passionate new beginning? It's a good card. Why are you there for Cancer? Coming towards them. Two is trying to come out. I'm going to let it. Someone's about 100%. Sure, they should offer you, offer you this passionate new offer. Their decision isn't final yet. They're they're kind of they were kind of hiding in the background, not really expressing themselves. This person is indecisive about whether they should offer this to you, whether they be rejected. They are there. You know who they are. They kind of keep to themselves. But they may try to come out of that hermit mood and make this offer, but they're kind of afraid. I'm not going to lie to you. They're kind of afraid to do it. So if you know anybody who's been on the shy side or, you know, introvert, they may be coming towards you a little timid. Now, the outcome for cancer, mid-October, starting mid-October and on, but I'm going to call it October. Yeah, the very final outcome is an argument. Five of Swords. Let me get another card for the Five of Swords. I need no more. Ooh. There is going to be an argument, a fight. Someone does not want you to move on. They do not want you to go on to better things. That could be why that Six of Swords was in the very beginning. And there may be a very big argument. You may get an offer somewhere else, and whoever you were dealing with in your life, or people, may not be happy about it. and may cause a big argument. There may be even some little jealousy going on. Because with the Five of Swords, it's, it's, it's a huge fight. Can I get another card? The Five of Swords. If you don't want this, reject it. You do not have to take this energy on. You do not have to accept the argument. But sometimes it's a little difficult to do. I'm thinking there's more than one person here for some reason. One is afraid to approach you. You already have someone else. Like you're waiting on somebody else. That kind of upset your love life. But at the same time, somebody else is coming in to offer you that... Uh, passionate new offer that was kind of a hermit before but a fight is going to start because of it just saying you don't have to accept this i'm just saying can i get another card for the five of swords in the universe in reverse ah, get this out. yeah i do believe people are going to get really different. yeah it's going to have to do with a love offer i i feel i feel that someone is going to get really upset over you getting a love offer and there's going to be a big fight that's going to occur because you got the ace of cups there in the upright Ooh, it's going to be a battle how are you going to handle this cancer because you're hoping for better things to come forward I'm thinking a lot of you, not, I shouldn't say a lot, but it's just something we say all the time. Some of you, like I said, had a partner or love situation in the past. There was an argument. I don't see people moving on in the beginning. Cancer, you're thinking that all the offers you got just went to hell in the past. And the obstacle is defensiveness, someone getting a little uptight, whether you or the other person. Like I said, it has a lot to do with moving on from a negative situation. In the near future, the love card is overturned, even though you're still waiting for love and regaining balance with possibly somebody else. 
or waiting on someone from the past. It's like you're waiting for something, maybe waiting for a better offer of love. Something does, like I said, comes your way. Something does come your way from someone who was an introvert before. Someone who kept themselves and they're having trouble deciding. But you will be having an argument. And I'm really thinking it has to do with more than just one person. Someone's going to feel left out. Someone's going to get angry that someone made you this offer. A love offer. And it's going to cause a fight. Yeah. Yeah, and you're going to try to not battle, but I don't think you're going to have a lot of success. You do have a Knight of Dis as the ending energy. This is a slow-moving energy. It's someone who moves slowly, and they're stable and sound and upright. Don't know if it has to do with this person that's coming towards you. Could be. And they are coming towards you sort of like an offer of some sort, a stable offer a steady offer even though it's slow coming it's a good card in the upright and I do believe and it, like I said it could be an earth element it could be a, a what do you call it uh Capricorn Taurus Virgo but they are coming towards you slowly and steady and carefully. That's what I'm looking for. Very, very carefully. Could be because of this fighting energy. I have no idea what that's about. I'm trying. You're going to have to tell me in the comments because there's so many people. There's so many cancers out there. But I'm, uh, like I said, I do believe there's going to be some kind of battle. A jealousy possibly. Because someone else may be making you an offer. And things may explode. And that is your reading. I'll be back before November for November readings. If you know what this is about, leave it in the comments. And stay safe and stay calm and enjoy October. Try to stay away from the negativity if you can. Enjoy the, the good things that are headed towards you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.